case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the district court originally dismissed the case ruling that the argument of racial gerrymandering did not have legal footing as the constitution did not explicitly prohibit race-based redistricting However, the court conceded that Shaw's claims had merit under the 14th Amendment's Equal Protection Clause, which outlaws laws that explicitly classify individuals based on race. Drawing into focus, the 14th Amendment mandates that any state legislation that makes such racial distinctions must be narrowly tailored to serve a compelling governmental interest. Herein lies the crux of the matter. Unexplained racial disparities in otherwise race-neutral laws are deemed presumably invalid. Shaw and co-appellants ignored the setback of the district court's dismissal and pressed their claim to the Supreme Court. They argued that North Carolina's redistricting plan used irregularly shaped congressional districts to isolate black voters. According to appellants, this practice held no plausible explanation except racial gerrymandering. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of Shaw. Their reasons were twofold. Firstly, legislation must not explicitly distinguish citizens based on race unless it furthers a compelling governmental interest. In this case, the court posited that the North Carolina's redistricting plan was so irrational, it could only be seen as an attempt to segregate voters by race. The court's warning against racial classifications hit a nerve nationwide. It challenged the tool of racial gerrymandering, cautioning that it stirred up societal division and negated America's progress toward a political landscape not influenced by race. Lastly, the Supreme Court instructed the District Court to reevaluate North Carolina's plan under the scrutiny of these principles if any racial gerrymandering claims remained unchallenged. All in all, careful mapping of a majority-minority district is permissible within the confines of the Constitution, provided it serves the compelling interest of compliance with anti-discrimination laws. After all, ensuring equal rights is a paramount interest for every state. However, crossing the boundary of what the Attorney General prescribes under the non-retrogression principle results in unlawful racial gerrymandering. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.